Now we will see the question number C. Five five double zero. So divisible by four. Zero zero divided by four. Zero zero. Okay. Divisible by four. Now we will take five hundred. For division of eight, we will take five hundred. Five hundred divided by eight. Forty-eight, twenty, sixteen. Remainder is there. Not divisible by eight. Not divisible by eight. Understood? We will take D. So zero zero divisible by four. Divisible by four and divisible by eight also. It also understood. Need not to because uh, three zeros are there. If you divide by eight, the quotient will come zero. Remainder will also come zero. We will take question number E. One two one five nine divisible by four. Now. For five nine, we will divide by four. Four one ja four one nine sixteen. Remainder is coming three, not divisible by four. So once it is not divisible, it is not divisible by eight also. But we will do it. Okay. For divisibility of eight, one five nine divided by eight, not divisible by eight. We will take F. Divisible by four. Now for four, we will take six zero divided by four. Four. So this number is divisible by divisible by four. Now again we will take five six zero for divisible of eight. So divisible by eight also. Now we will go for G. Two one zero eight four. For divisibility of uh, four, eight four divisible by four. So you need not to do. In mind, you can do. So this is divisible by four. But this is zero eight four, not divisible by four eight. So this is not divisible by eight. We will do it. For divisibility of eight, zero eight four eight eight zero 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 eight 
वन जाए एट फोर सो इट इज नॉट डिविजिबल सो नॉट डिविजिबल बाई एट नाउ वी विल टेक एच थ्री वन सेवन नाइन फाइव जीरो सेवेंटी टू डिविजिबल बाई फोर नाउ सेवेंटी टू डिवाइडेड बाई फोर सेवेंटी टू डिवाइडेड बाई फोर फोर वन जा फोर थ्री एट थर्टी टू सो डिविजुअल बाई फोर डिविजुअल बाई फोर Again for eight, we will take seventy-two. Seventy-two divided by eight. Nine. Seventy-two zero zero. So divisible by eight also. Eight also. Why we have taken seventy two? Because the previous two seventy two zero is there. So that will give you value of seventy two only. That is the reason we have given seventy two. Now we will go for I. One seven zero zero, so for four zero zero divided by four zero zero divisible by four. Again for eight seven hundred divided by eight. Not divisible by eight. Why? Because we are getting a remainder. Understood? We will take now J question. Two one five zero. We will divide five zero by four to check the divisibility by four. Four one ja four ten four two ja eight two remainder is there so not divisible by not divisible by now we'll divide one five zero by eight. So remainder is there, not divisible by, not divisible by eight. So with this, we have completed question number two. We will go for question number three. Using probability test to determine which of the following numbers are divisible by six. Remember the rule I have taught: divisibility by six. So we will take a two nine seven one four four. Now add the find the sum of all the digit available in this number. So two plus nine plus seven plus one plus four plus four. That will give you. Eleven, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. It is coming twenty-seven. Divide by three. Divide by three. It is coming nine. Nine is a odd number. 
So, this number is not divisible by 6. Divide by 2, remainder 1. So, not divisible by 6, not divisible by 6. Okay. Now, we will take B. One two five eight. Whether this number is divisible by six or not? Take one plus two plus five plus eight equal to sixteen. Sixteen divide by three. Okay, not divisible. Not divisible. So this number is not divisible by 6. Now, we will take question number C. Four, three, three, five. Now, again do 4 plus 3 plus 3 plus 5 divide by 3. So, 15 divided by 3, answer is coming 5. Again, 5 divided by 2, 2, answer is coming 1. So, not divisible by 6, not divisible by 6. Understanding? We will take question number D. 6, 1, 2, double, 3. Okay. Add 6 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3. That will give you 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15. So, 15 we have checked in previous uh, that is uh, C. It is not divisible by still we will do. 15 divided by 3. 5 is coming. 15 again divide 5 by 2. 2, 4, remainder is coming 1. So, not divisible by, not divisible by 6. Understanding? We will go for E. 9, 0, 1, 3, 5, 2. Find out the sum of 9 plus 0 plus 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 2. Just in theta, so the counterpart is. It is coming 20. 20, 3. Remainder is there, so not divisible by 6. Not divisible by 6. We will take F now. F 4, 3, 8, 7, 5, 0. To find out the divisibility by 6, we have to add 4 plus 3 plus 8 plus 7 plus 5 plus 0. Pandra. B is 27. 3. We will divide by 3. 9. 9 divided by 2. So, this is also not divisible by 6. Not divisible by 6. Why? Because 
we can divide by 3, but we can't divide by 2. So, this cannot be divided by 6. We will take now g. One seven nine zero one one seven nine zero one eight four. To find the disability, again add all the number one plus seven plus nine plus zero plus one plus eight plus four equal to eight seventeen eighteen twenty six thirty. It is thirty. 30 divided by 3 is equal to 10 divided by 2, 5, 10. So, this is divisible by both 3 and 2. So, this number is divisible by 6. Divisible by 6. Understood? We will go for H. 12583. Okay, add again 1 plus 2 plus 5 plus 8 plus 3 equal to 3, 8, 8, 16, 16 and 3, 19. 19 not divisible by 3. So, this is also not divisible by 6. We will take now I. 1, 5, 6, 3, 9, 2, 1, 0. Again, add all the numbers. 6 plus 3 plus 9 plus 2 plus 1 plus 0. 18 the basic is 3 7 7 2 3 not divisible by 2. So, this number is not divisible by 6. So, we will write not divisible by 6. Now, we will do j. Okay. 1 7 8 5 2. Again, add all the numbers that is 1 plus 7 8 plus 8 16 plus 5. Uh, 21 plus 2, 23. 23 is not divisible by 3. So, this number is not divisible by 3. Not divisible by 3. Therefore, this number also not divisible by 6. Understood? Like this, we have completed 3. We will see 4 in next class.